Okay, it's more centered there. Boo, boo, boo. Let's get the chest going. Boom, boom. Got the whirl in there. All right, I gotta get a Twitch cat. The Twitch chat popped out here. The whirl in there. I pause my end stream. Uh, Twitch chat. Pop out the chat. Sorry, I'm just getting stuff going here. All right. And here we go. And change the title. I guess I can turn these off while I'm doing this. Let me get the title fixed. A couple of minutes late here, sorry. Hmm. But we are doing some sick 2v2 today. And the meta has been evolving a lot since the mode came out. So hello, hello, hello. Is there anybody in there? Alright. Um... Bringing this back, bringing that back, and mm, time to get some 2v2s rolling. As far as the chat room, let's see, we got a couple viewers coming in, nice, all right. We are now live. Just gonna start right into a game here. Teams play. Gotta catch up. Some people already over 1400. I've been playing a few games yesterday and today, um, but I haven't played too many yet. Still figuring out the meta here. So what's going on? And uh, one thing I discovered is you can actually draw arrows on the map now with uh, holding down the right click and your teammates can see them. And so it's definitely huge. Uh, your turn, blue. Yes, good. Excellent. What is he saying now? I message you on my main. So both red and blue are developing their dark squared bishops first. It's interesting. I 
I'm already threatening this yellow pawn over here. I forced uh, an extra pawn move out of red for defense. Great. I'm not recording here. Just streaming. Good. Okay. All right, yeah, now we can definitely punish yellow because he's losing, he's missing a dark squared bishop. Copy my stream link into the game here. See if there's any more people interested in watching. Uh, hi, Vesper. Got CM Squishy. Nice. Starting to get some people now. Ah. Okay. Uh. 
Uh, yeah, I can invite your main. Squishy. All right. Let's do it. Let's do this thing. All right, I sent that out. So yeah, let me know if you're not logged in yet or something, and I'll resend it. Oh yeah, okay, you accepted. So here we go. Yeah, the arrow drawing is really critical now. It's just so good. Rather than having to sit there and type to someone. It really does make it feel like a team game. Can give out hints and stuff. But anyway, cool man, nice to have you in the stream, nice to have you uh, playing a game here in Squishy. Alright, I'm just looking at the leaderboard, everyone's over 2,000 now in the top 10. Uh, but today we're shooting for ELO Heaven in the 2v2 bracket. So I'm still going to be focusing on that for now. Um, if any of you on YouTube are looking for more content that's related to normal free-for-alls, um, let me know, and I'll try to put out a video of that this week. Um, but right now, the TV2 is very, very interesting, and um, I'm trying to get trying to get a high rating in that. So that's what I'm doing now. TV2 is also much more fast-paced, which is interesting. It's like a lot more about development and, and tempo than who can sort of outlast the others. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love sitting there and turtling and dirtling for like 45 minutes, but eventually that gets old, so I like to mix it up. And uh, I'm sure I'll get tired of this too, and then I'll go, it's nice to have a few things to switch back and forth between, you know. And it's amazing that the game the game is like entirely set up the same way, but as soon as you change a rule, which is to institute two of the players as a fixed team, then um, everything changes about the way the game is played. All right, let's go for quick mate. Yeah, we can we can try to boost our ratings. I mean, uh, I'm I'm looking I'm not looking to sack to do so, but yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, squishy, you got a nice high rating there. That's nice. I'm going to start with this. Yeah, this is a very mean mate if it works. Uh, so now I have to protect, right? And I have to play like G3. So I don't lose my queen, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I'm not in a horrible position, but it's not what I would have done otherwise.
It's not exactly what I otherwise would have entertained as a good move. Yeah, I mean, this isn't working as well as some of the other openings I would have done, because now I had to basically move my queen out and block everything. Uh, but you're going to be in check. Okay, yeah, I like I like that idea, it's fine. That way I can potentially check him later. Oh. No, that's not so bad. No, he just messed up now. So now you can just take that queen. Mm-hmm. King takes, king takes bishop, right? Yeah, it's okay. I'm bringing my queen out now so I can sort of shore up red's def uh, white yellow's defense here. Maybe f12 now. I was thinking F12 instead, but okay. I was also thinking this maybe, but okay. It's fine if you want to get your king out of there.
And I can't immediately mate him here. I mean, I think it's okay. We still have a queen, mine. This is so annoying though. This is horrible. Uh, damn. All right. Well, we lost a lot of points for that one. Sorry. Um, I guess. I guess I can get you on Skype. Um, how about Discord? Actually. I'll have to add you though. What's your Discord tag? Mm. 
Hmm, this is not so nice now. Uh, I mean, it's a few times I've taken a while because Squishy has a high elo. Alright, yeah, I'll play one more with you, Squishy. Should be okay. Yeah, if you guys have any questions about this mode, um, basically it's just two versus two instead of um, four player free for all. And what that leads to is very fast tactical combinations, um, very important in terms of development, not so much turtling. Um, and like I said, I do love me and I sit down turtling game at the last 45 minutes, but uh, these games could be much more fast paced and definitely much more unforgiving. Um, so this is some cool action here. Uh, sorry, Squishy. This this whole stream is going on YouTube, so it's it's just gonna be like a two hour chunk. So don't worry. Yeah. Um. It will be interspersed with several other games, so that's fine. Try and center myself again. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting hard to find a match now. Well, it's this time of day where. You know, most of the people that play this boat are from USA, and then, um, well, it's like 5 or 4 a.m. there, so there's just not many people on right now. actually a little bit better. Uh, you can see my face a bit better. Turn my light on. There's a couple couple different settings there. <laughs> um, sorry Suland, if you if you uh, agree to play with me during the stream then then uh, no matter how we do the result will be there. So yeah, I'm not going to censor anyone. 
It's just a side effect of being on the stream. You know, my losses are up there for everyone. I don't censor them. I'm too lazy to do it, even if even if I was interested. So. Wow, this is like the longest queue ever. Uh, yeah, squishy, but what else have I been seeing in this mode? Uh, I mean, pawns are basically never going to promote until endgame, which rarely happens. Um, it's mostly just technical sequences. And then I guess pawns can sometimes matter, like... Sometimes you trade out everything and then one team has a tactic where they win a rook. So that team can control all the promotion of pawns at the end. Um, but yeah, most of the times it doesn't even come to that. As for why they changed it from eight, the 8th file to the 11th file, I'm guessing during their testing that um, like the first move, the team who moved first would have some sort of advantage in the middle and then the other team you know, wouldn't get to promote. And then, you know, if you have an extra queen on the winning team, that's insane in this mode. Queens are, queens are very scary. Queens are like queens in Bug House, actually. And this game feels a lot more like Bug House now than uh, anything else. So then, yeah, we can make up some cliches. We can call it a squishy if we have a master plan that can't lose and then we, we fail to pull it off. Squishy, you want to redo? Want to requeue here? Try it again. I just think there's not enough people on right now. I might have to play like single player, four player chess. I mean, it's also because our ratings are higher than most people now, especially yours. So it's going to be hard to find a match with equal players. It seems like I'm still getting some dropped frames here. So let me see if there's anything else I can get rid of. Get rid of that tab. Get rid of Discord. So we're not using it actually. All right, we're going for the cheapo mate again. All right, let's do it. I mean, when you know about it, it seems so obvious, but I guess if you don't know about it, it's tough to see it coming, right? This is so troll to just farm people like this, though. That's only three points anyway. We just lost 20. So we need to do that six times, basically. Frame drop is Twitch, not me. Well, no, my my OBS software says I'm dropping frames here. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if whether it's Twitch or me, but I, oh, actually, I don't know. Uh, okay. 
Oh, it's happening to the other streams. Okay, makes sense then. Uh, okay. Let's see. Why don't I not going for the fast paint? If I do this. All right, we're going for it again. Yeah, we still got a viable uh, free mate now. Let's see if we can keep it going here. Toffee's not sure what to do. I mean, he should do something like this. Block the queen from coming in, right? Oh, that doesn't really work. He could do, uh, let's see. That, that does work temporarily, yeah. That will stop the main. How would I do this instead? This looks strong. I mean, we're just ganging this guy as fast as we possibly can right now. We're abusing the fact that openings for this game have not been come out, have not really been set in stone yet. So defense, good defenses to this type of play have not been created. And now the game's over. This is very, very cheap. <laughs> All right, Squishy, are you heading out now? Am I afraid of them sniping me? Well, uh, Aquatar, yeah, they can snipe, but the nice thing about chess is uh, it doesn't matter when people snipe, right? And they can see the board anyway. It's not like a card game where they need to see your hand. You know, 
I'm not, I don't care if people can see the, the pieces that I have. That's part of the game. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. It's fine. Hmm. Okay, we're still going for the quick mates here, I see. All right. By the way, uh, this strategy was introduced to me by someone else, and I didn't really do it much. And then um, uh, Squishy and I have been using it for like the last two games. But I don't really know what to do if it doesn't pan out initially. Um, supposedly, I guess we're supposed to just have very developed and active queens. But I'm not sure. All right, that's not what he should have done. Uh, all right, so now we are spreading the cancer. But I mean, people need to start finding defenses to these openings, right? I don't know any defenses yet either. This is how the metagame must evolve. And I feel happy taking full advantage of it in the very beginning. To get myself some rating points. All right. Nice. Easiest rating points of my life. All right, this guy should know about it. All right, okay, we could go for the other guy. That's that's true. That's hilarious, but that's true. Hmm. I like the idea. If it if at first you do not succeed, try and try again. However, here's the problem. Now his bishop can check you if you go down that diagonal. Right. So be careful with that. Anyway, moving this pawn though is good anyway, so you can give your queen some angles here. I need to wait until you can, I mean, it, it wasn't urgent for me to move the queen there. I still had one turn because you were going to move that pawn there anyway. Like you delay by one move so I can delay by one move here. Now I'll do it. Of course, his teammate's going to try to tell him what's happening, but it's not going to work. Because, yeah, okay. So now this is fine. Right. All right, so now uh, we have to go back to normally playing the game, I guess, unless you see any other mates. I don't see any. Do what you like, though. That's fine. I mean, he's got three defenders on this pawn now, so it's going to be tough to make that fall.
Yeah, I have to do that because blue is going to take my pawn on e, e13. Yeah, okay. Oh, we're still going for the cheapos? Okay. Let's do it then, I guess. Alright, it doesn't look like that's really going to work now. Oh, I'm about to get cheap out here, actually. I have to defend myself. Yeah, you should develop as fast as you can. What's that? Oh, he's going in with the queen, huh? Alright, so we're just going to try to outmobilize them all. Alright, I like that. I can get behind that. Trying to distract blue for a minute here. Okay, I'm coming. I'm not sure how I feel about these openings anymore because we're getting countered pretty hard now. If they just play normal moves that don't make them instantly lose. Because we always we always stick our queen in front of our dark squared bishop. And then it's harder to develop normally. But I'll try this. This could work. All right, that worked. I mean, uh, I guess it was really hard for Red to see that coming, right? Uh, sorry, I mean Blue to see that coming. Um, oh, that's just normal, not teams, right? All right, uh, I'll play another. Let's go. 
Let's do it. Any questions here in the chat? I'll take a quick look at the chat. Hi, um, Chaitan Yaharish. How's it going? True Acrotar, yeah, they can see the team chat. It's fine though. If they need the team chat to see what we're planning to do, then uh, they are not that good anyway. Okay. We keep hitting this toffee guy. I feel so bad for him. Are you going to trade bishops to stop it here? Definitely something he could do. Could trade bishops, that's one option. Could also play move like here's. Oh no, actually that wouldn't work right now. He could just trade bishops, yeah, that's fine though. Short term anyway. Now he's getting baited here though. Um, but there is this check. I'm still going to do this though, because it's the best thing I can do. Well, let me think. I can also check green here. I don't want to let green check him. I'd rather just us get ahead and not have to trade anything. Maybe that's wrong, but that's what I want to do. What? No, you missed. I thought I just showed you that tactic, man. You had a sweet tactic there, bro. Alright. Well, now blue might check you, so. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We'll make it, we'll make it. We'll do it, we'll do it up here. All right, let's not get too worried about it. We go here. Now the reason I don't want to trade this bishop is because that'll just help green develop. If he takes it, no help me develop. Okay, queen check is also okay, but I would have preferred the bishop check I think anyway yeah now I can play queen takes here all right so now this is turning into an interesting game
he could have just taken me there, so I didn't want to let that happen. Alright, this is quite an interesting game now. I'm not worried about that bishop check. Let's see, uh, blue bishop checks, just take it, it's not, it's not a big deal right now. I don't think that was a good pawn move because now you're weakening your structure a lot. That knight's very weak. That's why I didn't want you to move the queen there. I wanted you to move the bishop to block the check initially. Now you're stuck with that pin forever. You're running into problems now. Basically making it so that we are we're basically forced to mate them now. Now we can't play for endgame anymore. I can try something here though. It's not gonna work though, because blue has check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I don't like. I don't like when they're being way, 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 way too reliant on these cheapos. That we just forget everything about pawn structure and playing chess. Like these openings can help us get a cheapo, but then you have to know what to do after that. We definitely don't have that under under wraps yet. Well, now if I take that, he can take back, right? Oh, but then, uh, okay, yeah, it should still be good. So then blue will get to take this knight and also take the blue queen off. 
That's not bad. Okay, let's see what Green has to say about that though, because he can respond to. It's like Green's not doing much about it. Bring another knight into the attack here. I can continue attacking blue now, I think. Now I'm threatening this pawn and this knight. Take the rook, yeah. Nice. Okay, we're getting a good we're getting a good uh, teamwork rhythm going here now. Only problem is red doesn't have much left to play with. In the way of pieces. This is tough. So all in. I mean, uh, Green really should start using his queen. If he is using his queen, he can basically just checkmate red immediately. <laughs> He's just keeping red busy, but red doesn't have any pieces to move anyway, so that's not, not as productive as he would hope, I th I'm guessing.
Yeah, I'll just keep moving back and forth because nothing's happening here. Except me mating him. Oh, wait, that's going to be mate. No, we're going to be mated now. Oh, no, he will have one move because the knight will block, the get, block again and he can move over here. Mm, yeah, okay, he has one square left. That's good. Oh, man. Oh, it was tough. It was close. I mean, if you're going to use that opening, um, not try to say your name, Ali, using 93, if we're going to use this opening, we got to definitely take advantage of all the opportunities that it affords us, which was you chopping off that bishop and giving check. I mean, if you're not going to play the tactics that your opening is offering you, then don't play that opening. But, okay, let's try it again here. Let's go for it. Let's go for the Chico. Why check with the queen, though? Why? I can't, I can't do this move yet. Because he can't move his queen yet. Because at this moment, I don't think I can do much better than this. Oh. Is that going to work? Take there. I guess that does work, huh? Did it do anything? Blue can give up his queen as well, right? Or green can give up his queen as well right here. Which he didn't, so it's me. That was definitely cheapo. Hardcore. Uh, I'm going to play one more. Oh, Squishy's back. Yeah, hey, Squishy. I'm going to play uh, one more with Alice in here. And then we can play another again. Yeah, Akrotar Green could have sacked his queen there, but uh, it would have been best both sacking queens. Yeah, <laughs> he would probably miss it. Indeed, he did. Okay, like like you guys are saying, the chat's a little bit behind, and the stream's a little bit behind what's actually happening, so uh, yeah, we're already in queue for another game now, as you will see soon. Um, so it seems like what's going on is we can get cheapos a lot of the time, and that's a lot of free rating points, but I'm a little bit worried about the times when we don't pull off the cheapo, because usually you have to 
put your queen in front of the bishop, and that's like really anti-development. I mean, if you wanted to develop the queen, if you're just saying it's to get the queen out faster, that's still inefficient because you could just bring the queen to like f3 in this case, or whatever this is, f12, and then bring the bishop out on the other diagonal. So it's like strictly worse unless they don't see it, which is basically the definition of cheesy play. So I don't really like it, but I guess we're doing it for now. Uh, Hmm. All right, this queue is starting to take a while again now. Oh, whoops, did uh did we get out of the queue? Yeah, okay, Squishy, I'll, I'll play with you. Did we get Forget your name again. All right, squishy. I didn't. I either didn't get right, get your name right. Or I accepted your request, but it didn't go through somehow. So I'm just gonna accept this one again. What? No, I'm gonna refresh now because it's not working for anyone. All right, if anyone wants to play a game, you can re reinvite. All right. I got squishy back. Let's let's cheese some noobs, I guess. I mean, uh, it's sort of boring that way, right? I like the games where you just grind them out to end game. You're up like a a rook and you just go promote a pawn. Promoted pawns in this game are so so makes you feel really good when you get a queen after all that time. Takes at least let's see, one, two, three. Takes at least eight turns to get one. Even if there's no obstacles. So that's a huge time investment.
That's sort of funny though. If a pawn takes eight moves to promote to a queen, and a pawn's worth one, and a queen is worth nine, that's very symbolic. It's like on each point, it's like on each step of its journey, it's getting, uh, you know, one point stronger. Though, of course, none of that matters until you get to the end in reality. Nice. Yeah. Twitch mates. Twitch checkmates are hilarious. All right, so now I've got to move this pawn, right? Problem is he can always trade queens though, so I should I should wait, right? I should wait a minute. All right, night out. Yeah, that works too. The cheese is real. Oh my god! <laughs> don't be so. Don't like pre GG. That's just so bad manner. Squishy. <laughs> you could say GG after the game. Don't don't pre don't pre roll out the GGs like that. It's a bit rude. It's only two points though, unfortunately. It's interesting to me that the that it basically takes the average rating of your of the two players and uses that to calculate, and then it gives both players the same amount. So like if I made an account and like threw down to like five hundred ELO, played with Squishy, I could I could boost him really hard. because it would first calculate our average rating, which is 1,000. And then, and then the other team's average rating would be maybe like 11, 1,200, 1,300 maybe. And then that's what it would use to compare our two. And then at the end of the game, it would just split the points evenly between the two of us. So, so yeah, you don't, you don't gain points based on your own rating beating their average rating. You gain points based on your team's average rating beating their average rating. It seems anyway. So, yeah, if you see someone at like 1600 tomorrow and then they're playing with someone who's at like 700, that would be pretty funny. Of course, it only works if you have a unlimited supply of bad accounts that you make and then lose a lot of games on purpose with. No, it just doesn't matter how long the game went on. Right, Sulin, but check out our opponents too. Like they had I think their ratings were not that close and then they got they lost the same amount. In fact every single time it's been gaining the same and losing the same, no matter who's winning or losing that says so far as I've seen. So I think that's wrong. Uh, it's, I mean, that's a good theory that it might be handing out a fractional points, but I just don't think that's what's going on.
Okay, yeah, I've seen this. I've seen this night cheese before too. Let's go for it. <laughs> These cheeses are just so dumb. Wait, okay, Squishy, which one are, is, are we doing now? Well, I have to be careful now, because blue can trade with me. And then green can come in. God, Squishy. Not on this, not on this channel. Okay, I'm just going to do it, because they probably won't see this stuff, right? Right, okay. And honestly, if, if green invests two moves to take my pawn, that's probably okay. Right? I'm too worried about that. Do this now. Um, yeah, it looks like there's still some cheeses we can pull here. This is going to be a tougher game because people are defending in the early game. So this should be interesting, actually. <laughs> 